the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 364, Revelation 16-18 The fall of Babylon and the foreseen future. God will judge the entire world with justice and righteousness at the time of the last judgment and will reveal that He alone is the sovereign. First point, during the plague of the seven trumpets, a third of the population was affected, but the seven bowls of God's wrath was extended to the whole world. The seven bowls of wrath finally unraveled following the seven seals, seven trumpets, and the three visions. The seven angels poured out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. This was incomparable to the seven trumpets beforehand. During the plague of the seven trumpets, a third of the population was affected, but this time it covered the whole earth. However, this plague did not affect everyone. It only affected those who had the seal of the beasts and Satan on them, and those who did not repent. Eventually, Babylon, which symbolized all empires, collapsed and New Jerusalem was established. The start of Genesis and the end of Revelation shows the beginning and the end of the universe. This is beyond the scale imaginable to humans. However, God is bigger than all of this. Second point, the third interlude in Revelation is the destruction of Babylon. Revelation chapters 17 to 19 verse 5 unravels the third interlude in Revelation. The prostitute and the beast, which symbolize the God's judgment of Babylon and Babylon's destruction. The prostitute was sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. The prostitute symbolized Babylon and also the Roman Empire that was persecuting God's people. This showed that God would destroy Babylon and also Rome for their sins. Although the prostitute seemingly represented an entire kingdom ruled by Satan, the end for them would be nothing but destruction by God. Third point, the angel told John not to fear and to watch the woman and the beast perish. When John saw that the prostitute was drunk with the blood of God's holy people, he was greatly astonished. However, the angel came to John and told him not to be afraid and to watch the woman perish in the end. Although it appeared that the beast was gaining all the glory of the earth, Jesus Christ remains the king forever, and those who follow in Jesus will share the eternal glory while the evil perish. First point, God's angel proclaimed the destruction of Babylon. Now, God's angel loudly proclaimed the fall of Babylon. This was a shout to claim their destruction, along with all the kings and merchants of Babylon. After the angel's proclamation, John hears another voice from heaven. The voice confirmed to John that Babylon's sins were alarmingly enormous and that they would be punished according to their sins. It was also a warning not to participate in Babylon's sins. Fifth point, the angel told God's people to be glad about the fall of Babylon. The reason Babylon was destroyed was first because they ruled the earth as if it belonged to them. Second, they tempted people into doing evil. Third, they persecuted God's people. Thus, the angel told God's people to be glad about their fall. When the people of the earth saw that Babylon fell, the merchants of the earth lamented.
These were the people who had profited from Babylon's accomplishments by trading with them. At last, the final judgment on Babylon was declared. This was the declaration that Babylon would not be able to return. It would become like a rock that sinks to the bottom of the sea. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.